Okay, we're back. First video messed up. So, you were saying how you always wanted to be an artist? Yeah, yeah, I always wanted to be a comic book artist. And uh, it, was, it was the only thing I really wanted to do. I, I couldn't think of anything else that I would enjoy as much, so that was, that was my goal and that was uh, what I went after. Cool. Uh, do you have any particular favorites, or are you just a fan of everything in general? Uh, I like to tell stories and pictures. That's kind of what drew me to the whole idea of doing this, and uh, I really enjoy that because it's so difficult, and there's so many different ways to do it that um, you never get good enough. You're always trying to get better. Have you... Uh, when you tell your stories through your artwork, did, was there one that stuck with you throughout the years? That um, yeah, I did a book called *A Bat Girl Adventure* with uh, writer Paul Denny, who you may know was a big part of the Batman uh, animated series. And I worked with Paul. The difference this time being, Paul was tied up on the TV show, so he didn't have time to write a full script. So I was given just a very bare bones plot to work from, and I got to write most of it in my pictures. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you worked with both Marvel and DC in the past. Uh, was there essentially uh, any other stories that stood out in your mind that you were a part of or that you were proud to be a part uh, of? Well, I was, I was a small part of the death of Superman. I happened to be doing the Justice League with Dan Jurgens during that, so I was, we ended up doing the issues of the Justice League that came out right before and right after the death. So that was, that was a big deal. Now, you, you say you've never seen the animated films that have came out of the death of Superman, which no. was Superman Doomsday? No, never did. Um, it's, to me, it's enough that, that I read the comic. I really don't need to see it in animation to enjoy it. It's not going to make it make me enjoy it anymore. It's um, still going to be what it was in the story yeah, itself. Yeah. It's not going to end any different. So yeah. I, I just didn't, you know, enjoyed the comic and left it like that. Do you appreciate that it's been turned into animated format, though? Sure. To oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into that. And uh, a lot of really good people work on it. Uh, it's just that I, and I, I kind of wonder why do that. Why take something that's already been done and then adapt it? Why not create a, a new story? Um, I don't know that turning it into animation makes it any better. Um, in the course of your years over the over the years that you have been doing this, uh, which uh, what I'm trying to say, which would be your favorite book that you? worked on if you do have an actual favorite? Uh, it's hard to say. It was probably, it would probably be, well, I've got different favorites for different reasons. Uh, I like the Batman Adventures because of the work we did on it. It was kind of groundbreaking and, and we did some pretty good books. I like working on Blackhawk because it was one of my favorite characters growing up. I um, like doing Justice League with Dan. And I did a Hunter's miniseries with Greg Rucka that turned out pretty cool. So there's been quite a few. Pretty, pretty cool resume that you have under your belt for everything you've ever worked on. Well, I, I got a lot of opportunities, you know. Uh, I was lucky in a lot of instances to be in the right place at the right time. When people ask me to do it. So, I, I wish I could take more credit, but it's mostly, uh, mostly just being lucky. Is it hard when you're working on a book such as Justice League to not really concentrate but focus on who all you're drawing, who's all at, with the team at that time? Uh, not really. I mean, it's, 
any book you do, uh, if you're a professional and you do it a lot, you, you kind of go into a zone, kind of like a, an athlete does, and everything that's around you kind of blurs and you're just focused on the job. Um, and if you're working on something that was fun to do, like the Justice League, it, it's even easier to, to, to get to that point where everything else just kind of you know, fades away and you're just focused on the story. Yeah. Um, you spent time during the Superman celebration at Metropolis, Illinois. Right. Um, have you ever been able to go in and visit the museum and yeah, other stuff? Yeah, a couple times in fact, and it's, it's amazing. I find it hard to believe that he's been to amass all that stuff over the years. It's, uh, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. Amazing stuff that they have in there, the individual pieces and everything. I myself am like a kid in a candy store when I get in there. I don't ever want to leave yeah, when I get so in there. so much stuff in there. I'm always afraid I'm going to miss something. You and me both. Uh, now, you're based out of the St. Louis area right now. Right. So you've been to some different cons. This is your first con here in Popper Bluff. Right. And you've been to Cape a couple of times, haven't you? Yep. Uh, are there anything that you like about both cons in particular since you've had a chance to be at both places now? Well, um, any con, it's mostly meeting the people uh, that read your work. Uh, you know, because you, you work by yourself for the most part, and you really don't know whether enough people like what you do, and you hope they do. And so cons are a good chance to to get to meet them and know them and, and talk to them, to find out what they like, what they don't like, uh, and just connect with the people that you actually work for. I agree. Um, growing up when I was reading comics, and I still read comics, but back in the 80s they had where you could write to the editor of certain issues or write to certain teams that did the artwork or what not, and you would if you were lucky, they would print that reply in one of the issues of the comic book at the end. Um, do you miss those, or were you ever a part of those? Uh, well, I, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we had letters pages in back then. Well, most of the books I worked on, we had letters pages. I started back far enough where they were still using letters pages. And, yeah, they were nice. They, you know, gave, gave a chance for readers to to write in and, and talk about the books and, and talk about them sometimes in great depth and detail. And, uh, it's a good place for fans to connect with one another. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like them, I miss them. I, think, I wish they still did them. Now over the years you have gotten to work with some pretty talented groups of people. Uh, if you could name a few of the people that you were actually able to work with over the over the years, well, so many. Um, I I worked with Denny O'Neill. I drew a story that Denny wrote about the question. Uh, I worked with uh, let's see, just about every you know, all the major writers in the past 30, 35 years. I've worked with uh, Greg Ruckus, good friend of mine. I worked quite a bit with him. Um, let's see, who else? Tuck Lynch I've worked with, Marty Pasco, uh, Dan Jurgens, of course, uh, Mike Grell. Uh, oh my gosh, the list just goes on and on. And then as an anchor, I've got to ink some, some pretty good artists, and I've been inked by pretty good anchors. Uh, I've been inked by Dick Giordano, Bill Sankiewicz, Klaus Jansen, uh, so I've been pretty lucky. Uh, and, and as far as my thinking of the people, I've got to Kurt Swan, Jim LaPero, uh, John Byrne, uh, Dick Sprang, uh, you know, some of the people have been So you've had, a, you've had an amazing career span so far, and it's still going on strong. Uh, what would you say that you walked away with, like, life lesson experience? What would you say was your biggest life experience walking away from you? Um, I guess the most important thing I learned at Jordan Comics was that if you work at a job you love, 
then everything else in your life pretty much falls apart. Uh, it, that's so important, I don't think people realize how important it is to like what you do for a living. Because if you do, then you wake up in the morning and you never dread going to work. You always look forward to the next day. Uh, it makes, gives you a better mood overall. I mean, you'll have bad days, of course, everybody does. But it's, for the most part, you're, you're happy at your work. And spend the rest of your life kind of falls into place. And, and, you know, so it's, yeah, that's, that's the thing I do. It's something I suspected, I didn't know for a fact. Take that back, everything but Yeah, that's the big thing I take away from it. Is do something you don't know. Well, I appreciate your time doing this little video interview, and I hope you're having a great time here at Popper Bluff Comic Con and Simo Con. And it was great seeing you once again, my friend. Thank you for your time. So, uh, this is